Hey everybody, Dave Amato here. Welcome to my world. I've been playing guitar nearly all my life, and through the years, I've played with Ted Nugent, Richie Sambora, Cher, and now with Ario Speedwagon for over 30 years. And through it all, I've built up quite a collection of vintage, classic, and custom guitars. So for all you guys who love gear like I do, I decided to take you on a very raw, bare bones, backstage look. Now that Ario is back on the road again, I'm going to introduce you to a few pieces of my gear candy. Hi guys, a lot of you have noticed and commented on the backdrop of all my guitar groups. Well, you guys are right. I have a crazy collection of Marshall amps as well. So on this week's gear candy, I'm going to take you through some of my Marshall collection. Bradley! What do you got going on here, Dave? So, uh, I don't know, I just walked in and it just appeared. Who, who, who's, uh, who's all this stuff belong to? I asked, tried to ask I'm not sure. Also, but, um, Holy crap. John, is this all your stuff? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I, I, I just brought it over my pickup truck. Yeah. Brian, Brian, Brian helped me a lot. Brian, Brian is responsible for all of this. He's responsible, that's right. When we started to do this gear candy project, um, I gathered up a couple of my buddies, Brian Ranks, Brad Megan, and John Cornerance. We all got together and the first step was setting up those Marshall amps. So this little cluster of uh, Marshall amps here I have on the side is limited edition ones on the far right where the basket weave grills are 100 watt head and one cabinet 412 and a blues breaker combo. That was, I believe, in 1997. Those are the ones on the far right there. On the left is um, 82 anniversary models that uh, Marshall put out, which is a 50 watt Marshall head on top there, and another 412 cabinet, and a 212 um, little Marshall combo, 50 water. And right in the middle is a 68 striped cabinet grill cloth uh, with the uh, greenback 25s in it with kind of matching what they kind of had then it was two JTM 45s on top which are uh, two 66s on the top which are really cool and very expensive if you can find them out there right now but they're um, they're a real cool piece to have these um, tall Marshall cabinets on the left with the uh, large check grill are um, three Marshall early 70s 810 cabinets um, which I put out then uh, from Marshall and, and very very cool and a little trebly uh, cabinets and then there's the one on the far right which is pretty close to the same size uh, as the 810 cabinets but they have 412s in it which I think is really very <laughs> rare that's hard to find I found that cabinet in, in LA and I'm actually looking for another one so the bulk of the marshals in the middle of the um, in the whole display here is um, 60s and maybe early 70s 70 or 71 uh, old basket weave cabinets that I've collected and there's 16 of them and you can tell by the grill cloth is a little bit <laughs> dirty or a little bit faded so from the top cabinets right in the middle of the array is um, there's eight of them on the top and eight of them right in the middle which is straight cabinets the slants are on the top those are those are the real basket weave um, ones and the uh, some of the others on the bottom are um, are reissues that I've used live. The whole bottom row, maybe eight of them on the bottom, I've used all those live. And those, those are faded grills because of the, um, the sun beating on them when we were on tour and stuff like that. And then I have some dummies on the side that I've used for props in the, in the past. There's a few dummy heads up there as, as well, along with the real ones too. So they're kind of mixed in. Uh, all of those heads on the Hendrix stacks there, cabinets, are real 60s and some of them are uh, PA heads that I love that a lot of guys don't don't like them but I like the PA heads they just sound incredible to me that in the 60s they just use them as a PA head but I use them as a guitar lead head in the studio and they're incredible also the super leads are 
that everybody loves are up there too. The bottom cabinets are straight and they're, um, they're taller than the regulation 412 cabinets and the ones on top are regular slant uh, basket weave cabinets. The, the, the heads against the wall in flight cases there are early 70s. They're not um, the uh, plexi ones just after that and they're hand wired ones. I like to collect those too because they are the same, pretty much the same guts as the plexis in the 60s. And they just changed the, um, the faceplate to metal instead of the plexiglass. And uh, I like to collect those too. There's a PA head in there and some super leads. And there, there probably is a super base there too, which I just love. And uh, so I just like the old traditional, I collect the old 60s and early 70s heads, which I just, I just cherish. All right, well, that's my Marshall collection. On the next Gear Candy, I'm gonna take you guys on a closer look at my Gibson Reverse Vs. I wanna know what you wanna see. If you see any guitars in my videos that you wanna know a bit more about, just leave a note in my comments. I will attempt to post more videos of your requests. And make sure you stay tuned on my social media. Don't forget, REO is back on the road again. You can check out areospeedwagon.com for tour dates near you. Until next time, stay safe everybody. And I will share a few more pieces of my gear candy.